Operation Save the Girl is a go. I just remembered where Vladivik's water supply comes from. Spring water rises up from under the castle and flows to the town via a series of underground waterways. We can sink into the castle by going through these underground waterways. We can get into them from the town's well. The waterways should lead right up to the castle's reservoir. If we are able to get that far, we should be able to sneak into the other rooms of the castle from there. Sounds good. Faye is in the tournament. He will draw the guard's attention. Then Bart will enter the castle through the waterways via the well. After that, he will rescue Margaret from the Citadel. I will accompany, accompany Faye to the tournament. I will also help work the crowd and secure our escape. Preparations for our plan are complete. Tonight we will stay in the hotel and start out tomorrow. We are free to do what we like for now. Let us have a look around the town. We already had so many looks around the town. I wonder if it'll let me play that game now, though. I guess I'll check. How's it going, Raph? Welcome. I'm stuck. That was weird. I couldn't even jump. Also, my boys aren't with me anymore. Which probably means I can play that game because they're not going to stop me. God's name. This is Who's Balloons? One time is 10G. Do you want to play? This is a song. <laughs> These alien guys. Welcome to Who's Balloons? Here are the rules. Children holding balloons will come floating down. Their balloons will fly away as they let go of them. You must catch the balloons and return them to the children. Return as many balloons as possible within the time limit. Next, I'll explain the bingo bonus. None of the 16 bingo panels are lit now. Whenever you return a balloon to a child, a panel will either light up or go out. When you get four lit panels in a row, it's a bingo. Each bingo returns five times the prizes. <laughs> seems... Seems a little down. How do I... Oh, do I have to jump? Oh, God. Oh, I was not paying attention to the other balloons. I'll be honest. That's not my balloon. How dare you give me the wrong balloon? This was the girls. This is chaos. Pretty clever game, though. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna get a bingo, though. These kids are just walking all over the place. I got a bingo! I don't know how. Is it just random? I thought it was like whatever panel you were standing on lit up. But I feel like it's just random. Oh my god, how long does this go for? Bingo. <laughs> Landed on the kid's head. Run, kids, the alien's back. You returned 28 balloons. Your prize is 10 Rosal. Wait, that's... Wait, that's gaming. 
I only spent 10 G. I got 10 rose salts. This is merry-go-pop. Welcome to merry-go-pop. Let me explain the rules. Different colored balloons will come out of the four holes. You must pop them. Each color is worth different points. Blue is 10, green is 20, yellow is 40, red is 80, white is minus 100. So we want, we want red, yellow. Prize will depend on how many points you get within the time limit. white nice got the red I feel like I'm playing crash bash I feel like these games go on. Oh no. I feel like these games go on for far too long. <laughs> Iron Helmet. Yeah, the red is kind of more of a purple. Mirror of Truth. Welcome to the Mirror of Truth. Is this the real world? Is that the real world? I'll show you the truth. Genuinely terrified by this game. Could you imagine if you actually like walked into a carnival and they had something like this? We were just like, this is the mirror of truth, wanna see? And then he was like, are you done yet? <laughs> hey, well if it isn't Faye. It's me. Molten from the Laughing Pig Pub. You'd never know it from the way I look now, though. So how's my wife and daughter doing back in the village? Ah, uh, mm. Of course they're fine. That's the only thing they do well. I want to return soon, but I still don't have the money to bring them to Ava. I'm getting... I'm down getting... Done getting the festival ready, and now I've got another job. I'm really busy. It'd be nice to have a little lodge in a small village like Lahan. To get the money together, I started a business, and now I'm really busy. I want to send my girl to school and buy nice things for my wife. I guess I'm talking too much. If I don't go soon, the boss will get mad. Well, see you, Faye. Say hi to my wife and daughter for me. Well, I got grim. What's interesting is that I'm pretty sure that was optional. So, like, I think that interaction was also optional. Ah, uh, yes, the village. 
I got steak and eggs for breakfast. Is anyone mad? This guy. Do you have steaks, steak and eggs for breakfast every Friday? Is that just what we're doing now? Yeah, tomorrow will be tough for both of us. Let's all get mad at heroes every Friday. Good morning. Operation Rescue Margie is now underway. First fan I will prepare for the tournament at the arena. When the tournament starts, Bart will enter the waterway through the well and head for the castle. If you swim against the current, you should reach the castle. I am certain there will still be some guards there, so please dispose of them quietly. We will make a good show at the tournament to draw the guards' attention as long as possible. During that time, you can rescue Margie. Any questions? Let us go. Be careful, young one. Let's play steak and eggs. Clipless, it's pretty fantastic. I'm ready to fight. Put me in, coach. Well then, I will be over here cheering for you. Do not beat him too soon. The better you do, the easier it will be for Bart to sneak in. Do not beat him too soon. The better you do, the easier it will be for Bart to sneak in. Aren't these two things not connecting? Do I want to beat him quick or not then? I don't know, I'm just going to whack him. What am I doing? Do you know my name? Yes, I do. That's right. I am the one and only Big Joe. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. Aren't you nervous? I've had to pee a couple of times already. I have to go again. Again. <laughs> do you think women are weaker than men? Not really. You're just saying that to impress me. I don't... I'm not sure that's impressing you. Maybe not ticking you off, but... I don't know how that's impressive. Dan. Dan! What are you doing here? It's your fault that Alice... I'll never forgive you. I'm gonna kill you. Dan. Attention all participants. We will be starting soon. Please enter the arena. You're the enemy of everyone in Lahan. I'm gonna kick your butt in front of everyone. And don't be running away either. D dan Hey, mister. Are you from Lahan? Seems like you and that boy have some kind of problem. Who do you think you are? Mind your own business. Haha. -ha. What's so funny? Nothing. Just wondering what kind of fight you will have with that boy. Well, I'm looking forward to it, Faye. Huh? I was like, I know my name. I didn't enter my real name. That's right, I'm the dragon slaying slacker. The hash slinging slasher. It's about to start. I guess I better go get ready soon. Is this plan really going to work? It's already started. If something's wrong now, then that's tough. What are you worried about? Faye will be okay. Besides, Satan's with him too. 
Now all I gotta do is sneak into the castle through the well. No problem. I pray so. Well, I'm going. Margie's waiting in the citadel. Well then, do be careful. And thank you for helping Mother Margaret. No sweat. You better get out of Ava now too. Things are gonna get out of hand soon. Thank you. I feel like Bart got the short end of the stick here. His job is way harder. Should I go through that one or this one? I guess we'll do this one. But at least he has a beer named after him. That's the important thing. Oh god, it's just going. To protect the tradition of Ava and preserve peace in this desert, we must all have unshaking resolve. The desert is a precious treasure. Here are the forged in the minds and the body and teaching sun and the wind. And they're gathered here today in the strong bodies forged by the desert, the sun above us. And stuff with our fathers and our wind blowing and the whisks and resolved prayers for sons in the front. And our tournament raises the spirits and renews the blessings of this desert we live in. Brave ones, warriors, fight well. And do not shame our brothers in the front. Did you guys get all that? <laughs> Let the 338th tournament begin. Oh, he's so important, he gets two chairs. Hmm, a moving speech, if I do say so myself. Did he just compliment himself on his own speech? Oh, Commander Ramses, sorry to have kept you waiting. This way, please. I'm afraid I do not have the time for such gay revelry. I just dropped by to bid you farewell. What a pity. You do not like our entertainment? I find it boring. Oh, let it be, Commander. Shakan is only trying to show hospitality. I personally find martial arts quite interesting. I look forward to seeing the tournament. To say this event is a tribute to you, Commander, is no understatement. Your gracious help in the time of need enabled us to celebrate the country's founding today. Founding? How impudent. It's not even your country. <laughs> Do as you like. Wow, get wrecked. Yang, how about the tournament? Will you grace us with your company? Yes, it would be a pleasure. Oh, it's starting. The first match, Gonzalez versus the Hashlinging Slasher. My, what a handsome boy. Hey, calm down there. Okay, I have several questions. How did Gonzalez get into this tournament? How did he write his name on the paper? He is a... Orc... Goblin... Thing. Why is his name Gonzalez? <laughs> out I lose can't take it anymore what is this attack it's the craziest thing I've ever seen so am I supposed to be getting my butt kicked or what this is kind of crazy can't even can't even heal enough to like he does more damage than I can heal. All right, well that's better. Ooh. 
so I see one potential use for the combo system. Um, if I use my ability that only takes four AP, then I bank an AP. So, theoretically, you might be able to do more damage if you do a, a combo each time, but a combo that doesn't take all your AP. And then build up AP slowly and then, like, do a combo at some point. But... I don't know, still seems like you could just spam your best combo every turn and that would still be better. Like, let's say, let's say I use, uh, God, this fight is insane. Am I supposed to win this? Nice damage. So, like, let's say I use Raijin, like, ten turns in a row. Then I would bank enough AP to use two Sengretsus in a combo. Which would be, you know, better than just using one Sengretsu in a, in a turn. Senretsu. I don't know why I'm adding a G. Uh, but would that be better than just spamming Senretsu every turn? You know, probably not. But at least that's a potential use for the combos. Yeah, but what's the point of doing that? Like if I do if I do one triangle attack and then hold all my AP, then I could do a two Sanretsu combo three turns later. Or I could just do a Sanretsu every single turn. It would you know, it would be better to just do a Sanretsu every turn. Unless the enemy has some kind of weird gimmick where it's like they can't take damage for a turn or something, then obviously, yes, combos could be good. But like in a general fight, it doesn't seem like combos are worth it. Because you can just, you know, spam the same combo every time. Maybe there's more, maybe there's more enemies that, maybe combos hit more and maybe there's some more enemies that like dodge a lot or something. Still, it seems really like, like the combo system does not seem like something you want to use often. It seems like a very specific use case, which doesn't necessarily make it bad, but it's just interesting. Thanks. I did it. I hope all the fights aren't that hard because, uh, yikes. Maybe I should have done some leveling. But yeah, I do see a potential for like, I could use one of my combos that only give like, that only use like 4 AP and I could slowly build up AP and then do like a 2 combo hit at some point then maybe that would be worth it. Swim, swim, swim!
Yeah, that makes sense for like a counter move. If someone has like a counter. But you'd still have to. Well, I, I guess unless the counter. It would have to be a counter that only worked on combos. Because if they countered everything you did, then doing a triangle and then saving your AP, you'd still get countered. It just seems like a really like niche thing for being like a main main thing, but I kind of like the fact that you don't just use it all the time, but when you do use it, it's useful, you know? Like, I think it's designed well, it's just counterintuitive to a normal RPG where you have some kind of, like, main mechanic that you're always using. As soon as I saw the combo thing, I was thinking, like, okay, this is the main thing I'll be doing, you know? Then I like quickly realized that it's a lot more niche than it looks. No, I think I see what you're saying. I think the the big move he did was a counter to any special attack, so if I had done like triangle weight, triangle weight, and then did like a big combo, I would have taken less damage. Which is funny, because it didn't say it outright, so you'd have to really know what you're doing to know that. Like, it didn't say, like, or maybe it did and I missed it, but I don't think it said, like, counter when you did that big move. You just did it. Well, there's a difference between hand-holding and, like, giving information. If the information isn't there at all, then it's... It can be a problem. Oh, he does- it does say- yeah, that's right. He did say, I can't take it anymore, so I guess that's a really loose hint. Like, super loose hint. But I like that. There is something, at least. I like that. That's like a, if you're really thinking about it, him saying can't take it anymore does sound like he's doing some kind of counter. That, that's, that's clever. What? Playing in the reservoir again? Get up out of there now, boy. I'm stuck. Why not? How do I keep getting stuck? Is he just swimming up the... That's a pretty cool animation. How's it going, Arcane? Kid, how many times must I tell you... Hmm? How many years has it been? Well, haven't you grown up? Are you really the child I used to play hide-and-seek with? Is this some sort of joke? Well, answer me! What are you babbling on about? Old man, even back when I was a child, you used to ramble on and on. But I see it's gotten worse. What? Ramble? Did you say I just rambled on? Why, you little brat. The only people who I ever allowed to call me a rambler were the, my late mother and the young prince. His Highness. What was his name? You mean His Highness Prince Bartholomew? Yes, His Highness Prince Bartholomew. Boy, you certainly know a lot. If, Bar if Bartholomew was still alive, he'd be just about your age. Did you know that both he and his family were killed by that Chacon? You won't beat me, Chacon. I'll protect Ave's water till I die. In remembrance of the kindness of the king and the young prince. Really? Thanks, old man. Father would be glad. What do you mean, father? Are you the son of an acquaintance of mine? Wait, wait. I remember. No. No, that's not it. I don't recall the king having any secret sons. Sorry, but I don't have time to explain. You'll remember. See ya. Who was that? Why am I in a fight already? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even push a button. Oh, that's why. Hey, it's Joe time! I really like this, um, this one-on-one -on -one tournament as kind of a way to teach you some mechanics, if that is what they're trying to do here.
great. He did one damage. Holy cow, look at that damage. Joe's fans cheer support. Is heal 140? This dude be doing no damage. This guy's in over his head. He saying great like Tony the Tiger. Alright, well, it seems like a really nice fight to test stuff, so let's build up some AP and see what we can do. Although, he's gonna heal up a bunch, so. Stronger than him. Right, let's see here. So I could do. I love how fast the combos go. <laughs> Simple man, throw in some bass and some snaps, and I'm in. And a little middling synth. And you've got my attention. If I was supposed to sneak or not, but I wanted to fight some. <laughs> I've not been super impressed with uh, Bart so far in combat, but we got the legendary Whippa Snappa now, so M -m 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 massive damage. Then gives them a thumbs up. Gives their dead body a thumbs up.
better stealth than half the new Square Enix games. Confirmed. Ooh, give me one of those sandwiches. Oh, look at that soup. Yo, Bellius, thank you very much for the prime. Oh my god, look at this giant hunk of meat. Sneaking through the kitchen. The Scooby and Shaggy way. Look at this. Dude, this actual better stealth than half the Square Enix games I've played in the past decade. <laughs> it's like genuinely impressive. Hey, what is it that we're guarding here? We're here to chase out anyone from the tournament who gets lost in the castle. Babysitters, huh? Well, when it gets to the pre-semi-finals, we're go we'll go check out the tournament. Yeah, let's do that. I said Square Enix games, okay. Konami is a is a different beast. That's a, that's a different... Duh! <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other level. Square Enix can't, can't reach that level. Nor should they try. Yeah, that whip animation is so cool. Heaven sent. <laughs> I don't know why that was so exaggerated. <laughs> when are we starting the Final Fantasy IX Excalibur run? As soon as we're done with Rebirth, which is a bit hard to discern because A, the game is massive, but B, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing with the game over the next couple of weeks. I'm obviously going to finish my 100% platinum playthrough, all that. But then there might be some more guides I want to create. Um, I just finished my Gears and Gambits guide. And depending on how many people enjoy that guide, I may make a Fort Condor guide. Um, and then I also want to do some like post-game challenge stuff, like I did with Remake. So like, could still be a while. But whenever we are like officially done with Rebirth, or at least done playing it every day, that's when we'll start the Excalibur 2 run. And we'll start Final Fantasy Trophy Quest in general. But we'll start off with the OG Excalibur 2 run. Oh, that's the arena. <laughs> Is this Faye? Yep. Scud, check out my magic pills. I'll pass on that one. Just do a knife at me. Yo, Robots and Magic, thank you for the three months. Very fitting name. What? So hyped for Xenogears, this game rocked my tiny brain when I first played it. Yeah, that's what I hear from everyone. It's awesome, man. How's it going, Dainz? I don't 
How do I pronounce that name? I'm going with... Dainz. Uh-oh. Am I poisoned? Oh, no. Uh, this is on PS1. I'm playing it on a PS2, but this is the PS1 version, and that's the only version that exists. They never moved this to anything else, unfortunately. So if you ever see anyone playing it, they're either playing the original version or they're emulating. Or wait, sorry, I, I'm I'm mixed up because we were talking about other games earlier. Is this this has a PS3 port, right? browser because it'll lag everything yeah I think it does right sorry I we were talking about other RPGs earlier and I got it in my head that this one did not have a PS3 port but I believe it does actually yeah although it's only on the NA store So my bad. Uh, we were uh, I, we were talking earlier, and I said that this game only has a PS1 release. That was false. My bad. Yeah, this does have a PS3 port. It's only NA, and I haven't heard anyone say that it's good or bad. Robots just said that the PS3 port works fine, so I'll take his word for it. Um, but yeah, those are just straight ports. Like they took the files off of the disc and literally just plopped it on the PS3 store. So. It's a bit of a mixed bag as to whether or not those ports will be good or not, but... And they are just straight the game. No, nothing. It's basically as if you threw the game into the PS3, like, as a reverse. Um, like, if you took the physical disc and put it in the PS3 and played it with the backwards compatibility, that's basically what those ports are. But that is a way you can play the game without spending seven million dollars, because this physical copy is very expensive. Samson's hair. But yeah, just for reference, everything we do on this stream is either OG console or very specifically stated. Uh, I don't emulate anything other than very rarely for like speedrun stuff for speedrun practice. But um, and then when it comes to the Let's Plays, we almost always play the original version of whatever game we're Let's Playing. So. Just for future reference, if if it's not the original version, I'll usually have it very clearly stated. Um, and if it's for the Friday Let's Play, it's almost always the OG, as OG as we can get. Unless there's some specific reason. Uh, no, actually, I never owned this game as a kid. This game was donated to me um, a couple years ago for the stream. We did a little fan day. Excuse me. <coughs> um, we, had, we were doing a fan day, and somebody by the name of Stupendous Jimbo donated this game and said, hey, play it for a fan day. And not only did we play it for the fan day, but I played it for like several more hours after that because I liked it so much. And then I decided we got to quit playing it because I need to do a full Let's Play of this because it's so good. So I kept it for the last couple of years. It's been sitting on my shelf as we were doing Fantathon. 
And I knew as soon as Phantathon was over, we'd have to we'd have to do this one. Both because it, I had been waiting so long to play it, and also because it kind of fits as being the uh, next game after Phantathon, since it was going to be a Final Fantasy at one point. What are you doing here, Dan? I wonder if there was a way to like sneak into that room. Because that guy was just standing there, but that's actually the room I'm supposed to go into. So maybe there's like a way to distract him, or you have to go like around the other way. Hmm, I escaped from Yui's place. I'm here to avenge my sister's death. Please, Dan, stop it. Shut your mouth. I will never forgive you, you murderer. Ah, uh, what do you want me to do? Beat him up. I'm gonna take you down. Alright. I'll give Dan one thing, he's really freaking tanky. This is for all of Lahan. I still can't decide if Dan has hair or not. <laughs> like, his sprite... His model seems like, uh... He has a lot of hair, but then the picture, not so much. I need a lore check on Dan's hair. This is very important for the story. Kind of a feels bad man fight. You scum! What is he doing? Why does he have the hyper beam? What in God's green earth? <laughs> who taught? Who taught Dan to do that? It was all good until the Dragon Ball Z came out. For this, I could block it maybe. He just kind of whips it out. Yeah, I was, uh. I was like absolutely in. Wow. I was absolutely enthralled with the button combo thing when I played Legend of the Gaia, and I desperately searched for other RPGs that did it, but very few did it, and the ones that did it didn't do it nearly as well or the same as Legaya does it. So I've kind of just submitted to, like, is the one that does that. <laughs> Which is fine, because you don't need anything else. It's by far the best. Legend of Dragoon's a bit different. There's no combos, it's just timing. But, yes, I think in terms of that style, Legend of Dragoon does that best, too. Alright, so I'm kind of curious. If I do this, will it do more damage? Yeah. 
Not really. Dan, I... Shut up. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Bay, you're such a jerk. Yay, I won. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, I am winner. It's funny, a lot of people really... Uh, really stick up for... Ligaia 2. I played, like... Uh, I think two hours of it for a fan day. And I liked where it was going, but it definitely didn't give me the same vibe as OG, which, of course, it's not going to, but... I don't know, it just didn't hit the same, but I, I was enjoying it. I wanted to see where it led. I will eventually play it. But I see so much of an interesting spectrum of Ligaia 2 sucks, how could they ruin Ligaia? You know, Ligaia 2 killed the series. It could have been a great series, but it killed it. And then other people saying Ligaia 2 is my favorite game of all time. It's even better than the original. It's the greatest game ever. Like, it's it's definitely one of those. It's a Final Fantasy VIII <laughs> of, like, people either love it or hate it. Um, so I, I enjoyed what I played, but my only, like, big gripe with it is it definitely was not the same vibe as OG Ligaya. OG Ligaya is, is truly special in a lot of ways. I don't think I've ever played a game that has more, like, PS1 RPG grunge to it, right? <laughs> for lack of a better term. Like, it's just, it's just, like, the quintessential PS1 RPG. It's got, like, the big bombastic, but also, like, poorly aged cutscenes. The like awesome ps1 style music the big open world with the mist covering it like even the story is just so like ps1 rpg with the mist making the monsters and then turning off the mist machines and then learning like the truth about yourself and the mist and like it's just man it's so like i feel like it's it's kind of the opposite of Xenogears. Xenogears is like truly trying to be completely different. Whereas Legend of Ligaia feels like the greatest piece of every old RPG thrown into one, you know? Whereas, you know, this game's obviously trying to be completely different and does a great job at that. Legend of Ligaia is like, let's take the best part of every RPG ever and just throw it all into one crazy package but then it's so unique too with its combat like I don't know it's just man what a special game the guy is anyways I'm sorry I have to take every opportunity to splurge about legend the guy <laughs> watch watch my let's play of it if you want to just hear me gush about it for 40 straight hours Yes, I completely agree. <laughs> My neurons are activated playing Ligaya. What? How did- what? Every time- every time I... Tornado flame somebody. The neurons in my brain just activate. And I just go like full monkey. Hey, I have 5 AP now. I wonder if I learned a new combo, or even have one learning. I may have just gotten. I have to get used to pressing square to open the menu. That's definitely something that's hard to remember. Well, I was gonna use a healing item outside of battle, but I blew it, so. 
Oh god, that didn't heal a lot. Hit ah! me with the stick grenade. What does he say there? I mean, I don't... I think all the stuff they say is just like... Non-words, but... Sounds like he's saying Trey. Or like... Almost like Crash, but without the SH. Cray! Alright, can I heal now? Twin Sonic, that sounds fun. Drag? Yeah, maybe. Drag! <laughs> 